Hey there, this is Jamie, and I've got one last video for you on data cleaning uh, because there's a couple things we have to do before we can run the analysis on the data. The first thing that we need to do is we'd like to be able to delete these two columns. But if I delete them right away, you can see that these columns show errors, and that's because the contents of these columns refer to cells that I deleted. So I have to copy and paste the values into these columns before I can delete these columns. So let me show you how I do that. I highlight F and G and then I right click. I choose copy. Then I highlight F and G again and right click and choose to paste special. And I want to capture the value and the number formatting. And now in these cells, there are just numbers, no formulas. And now I can safely delete columns J and K. The next thing that I need to do is to reduce our data set so that we have only one observation per model of shoes. And that's going to be a few step process. What I want to start by doing is making sure that my sort is correct. So I will highlight all the data and then under data I'll choose sort and I'm going to start sorting by, oops I need to click, my list has headers. I want to go brand, I want to go model, and then I want to go price And then for price, I want to go values largest to smallest. That's important. On price, you want to go by values largest to smallest. That's so that if there's an item that's on sale, it appears at the bottom. I want to know the, the regular, I want the shoe with the highest price, the standard retail price, to be at the top. Then I click OK. And now what I want to do is create a new column, and I'm just going to call that column number. And what I want is for it to count up one through however many for the alpha bounce, and then I want it to go to Astro Run and count one through how many for Astro Run. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to start the first entry is going to be one. That alpha bounce is going to be one. And then after that, I'm just going to use an if statement. If the model of shoe in my row is equal to the model of shoe above it, I'm going to take the number above it and add one. However, if it's not the same as the model above it, I'm going to start my numbering over again with the number one. So you can see that's two. If I scroll down a little bit to the bottom of alpha bounce, you can see I've got 18 alpha bounce three. And then if I keep going more, you can see I've got six astro runs. I'll double click in that bottom corner and it, you can see that it numbers one through however many, the Energy Falcon, there's 42. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I want to only keep one per shoe. So I want to sort the data with all the ones on top, and then I want to delete everything that's not a one. But like we saw before, I need to copy this data and paste special. I'm going to take just the values because I can't have formulas in these cells. So now what I do is I select filter. I take everything that's not a one oops I made a mistake and I'm not going to restart this video. <laughs> I sort, I remove all my sorts and I sort by my column number 
and then I'm going to sort by brand. And now all the ones are on top. Now I go to my filter and I remove all the ones. Now I've got all my twos, all my threes, right, all the way down. And you can see that rows between 1 and 151 are hidden. So I'm going to take everything below row 151, highlight row 151, hit command or control if you're on a PC, but command, shift, down, enter. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete all of those rows. Delete entire sheet row, yes. Then I'm going to reveal my ones and now I have my data set. I'll get rid of that filter. I'll delete that final column. And now here on my men's shoes, I have 150 rows, 150 unique shoes. And now we're going to be ready to start our analysis. Okay, see you in the next video.